Hi, welcome to another Java lesson here. In this video, we're going to talk about type conversions in Java. So Java is called to be strongly typed, meaning if you have a variable with a data type, for example, an integer type variable called var1, you cannot assign to it a value that it doesn't expect. For example, you cannot assign a string value because the variable is integer type. Therefore, Java will be strict on making sure that variable has an integer type value assigned to it. So what if you come to a point where you have to or want to assign a value to a variable where the types don't match? Well, that's where type conversions come to play. Java will automatically do some type conversions on its own. For example, if you have a double type variable, and you assign it to it a value of 7. Now even though 7 is a 7 is integer type variable, Java will not have a problem with this because Java will automatically convert the integer type value to a double type. So when we actually do print out, what we're gonna get is not 7 but is 7.0 because Java automatically does the type conversion. It makes seven to be a to be a double value, so it puts that extra point zero on it. So Java will do these type of conversions on its own. So if you want to know whether Java will do this automatically or not, think of in terms of simple to complex. So we start out with byte to short to int to long to float, to double. So anything to the right, Java will automatically convert it for you. So if you're trying to convert a byte type to a short type, Java will do that automatically for you. If you're assigning a float type value to a double type variable, Java will automatically do that conversion for you. Notice double is on the farthest. So anything to the left of double, so byte, short, int, long, float, all of them, any of those data types you're trying to assign it to a double type variable, Java will automatically convert those values to a double type. So easy way to remember this is simple to complex. So any value that is simpler than the data type of the variable, Java will automatically convert to the right data type. Double type variable is a little bit more complex than integer type in that double type you can have 5.43 whereas integer types you can't have that you can only have up to 5. So integer types are simpler in that sense than double type values. So therefore more simpler data type values can be assigned and Java will automatically convert those to a more complex data type variable. Now what if we want to assign a integer type variable with a double type value. Java will not automatically do that for us, so we'll have to do it ourselves. And this is called type conversion or type casting. And to show you how this works, I'm going to give an example here. So let's make a double type variable called time. That's going to contain the value of 7.4. 7 Let's declare an integer type variable called score. Now, say I want to make score to contain the variable time. Java will not let us do that because int type and double type don't match. So what we need to do is we have to convert manually the double type time variable to an integer type. So to convert a double type variable to an integer type, you need to put parentheses and put the data type you want to convert to. So this, in our case, will be integer. And you put the variable name, so it will be time. That step is called type conversion. It's going to take that double type variable and temporarily make it to be an integer type. And since we're assigning a integer type to an integer type variable, Java is going to be good with that. What will score be then? Since time is 
and we know score can't contain a decimal, what will score be? Well, basically what will happen is Java is going to drop whatever after the decimal point. So whether it's 7.4 or 7.9, Java is Java's just going to drop that decimal part. So eventually what score will be, will become is, will be just 7. Okay, so that's how you do type conversions or type casting. And again, these are useful when you want to assign a value of one data type to another variable of a different data type.